YouTube for this short video clip, Nathan chasing his horse aka smiles a lot. Since 2011 documented blog called The world is smaller now buyer be aware. My name is Marina and Crane, Hapan Kinyawakan, Winona Kinyawakan, Pawa Kazawi. The way my parents and grandparents named first five as follows, Cask, my older brother who was first born boy, Hapan, is me, second born, a girl. Hapston, is my sister a third child who's a girl, Katen is my brother a fourth child who's a boy, and finally Wyhag, my sister a fifth born girl. After the fifth parents named them the way they wish as the sixth was born in the spring, a boy, the seventh was born in the fall, a boy, and the last was born on New Year's Day named after a dead relative. My late mother's maiden name, Kinyawakan, Flying Holy, and my dad's mom's name Dallin, to sing. My pronoun is a girl raised with responsible of a hapan. My matriarchal lineage takes me from the land of Okithi Sakawin, camps of the seven council fires, Dakota, Nakota, Lakota. Sisathanwan, Dakota, dwellers among the old fish bones. I Hankthanwan, Dakota, dwellers at the end of the camp circle. Wapathanwan, Dakota, dwellers among the leaves. Ndokantanwan, Dakota, dwellers at Spirit Lake. Wapakyut, Dakota, those who shoot among the leaves. I Hankthanwan, Nakota, younger dwellers at the end of the camp circle, Bears Paw, Chinkiki, Wesley. Titanwan, Lakota, Dwesherson Febraria, Oglala, Michawari, Boheninpa, Sikrangi, Shasapa, Hinpapa. I was born on the Oak River Indian Reserve now called Sioux Valley Dakota First Nation during a minus 40 below winter storm. I was home birthed by my Dakota grandmother. My grandfather's mother, Emma Campbell, an English colonial name was from Mankato, Minnesota. All her siblings, under the age of five, when her and her family of five escaped from the largest mass execution in USA history. My mother's mom's family name was Wasakuna, meaning white man. My lineage comes from the Sioux tribes that escaped and were exiled into Canada. My ethnicity is 93% indigenous to North America, 4% Germanic, 2% Norway, 1% France, 1% Northwestern Europe. My status card claims me as being enrolled as a voting nation member of the Tsutina First Nations community of Treaty 7. The colonial construct policies meant to divide indigenous peoples did their job well. Having spoke fluent Dakota Sioux until I went to day school, I lost my ability to speak Dakota. I was raised listening to various languages of the Treaty 7 area. Paradoxically white supremacy based colonial governments deemed inherent rights, too spirited, too SLGBTQ+, murdered and missing indigenous girls, indigenous women as invisible, non-human beings rather animalistic. We are at the bottom of the Canadian socioeconomic ladder. Historical gendered based violence, land theft, mass incarceration, racial injustice with the health system and in the police forces is critical. The crisis of mental health for indigenous is triggering to an already vulnerable population. Indigenous and black people continue to advocate for an attempt to work within these systems. Systemic racism meant to harm me and my community before my birth. I hope that we can honor the indigenous peoples of the Americas. Within the next few months, I'll be wrapping up this blog site. As most of my conversation speaks of gender violence that was forced on these lands by Christian outsiders. The gender violence towards indigenous girls and indigenous women was declared in Ottawa as a national crisis in 2023. Much of my blog is an explanation of this violence towards indigenous girls and women, as taught to me through my own family and my own lived experience. I thank all those non-indigenous peoples who hold space for myself and my ancestors' stories. In my open public forums I acknowledge that the roles of my parents, grandparents, and all my ancestors. Encouraging reconciliation for all sides as it's vital in peacekeeping. As violence disrupted throughout our history, so it continues, as an imposed reconciliation takes place without a safe and supportive environment. If we do not fight and healing from white supremacy more innocent people will die, not from riots but from mental health related issues. So where do we start and how does it finish, is based on educating ourselves about anti-racism and equity. Understanding the new terminology of our indigenous youth is important. As there is a surge or call it a renaissance of young indigenous artists from all indigenous tribe emerging all over the world. We must hear their voice as we as a race are to survive. In this blog since 2011, I put a warning out to all indigenous girls and indigenous women about the spiritual abuse and sexual assaults of accused Nathan Chasing Horse. Prior to his arrest on January 31, 2023, I shortened his name to NCH as prior years, I was threatened with a lawsuit. This blog will be filled with many conversations about child abuse, sexual abuse that is not something you have the emotional capacity to read or hear. It might be a good time to end listening or stop reading thorough this blog. Thanks to Rita Pallotta, Native Actor.3 YouTube for this short video clip.